Hello, my sweet friends. Oh, look at that. Simba's saying hello, too. And welcome to DIY with Nadia. In today's video, we are doing a winter gnome swag wreath. We are using a five gallon stir stick that you could get at any hardware store. And we are just going to make a beautiful, big, poofy swag wreath. So without further ado, Simba, you wanted to show your hat off, right? Right there. Let's get started on this beautiful winter gnome wreath. Let's go over the supplies that I'm going to be using. I'm going to start with this beautiful blue deco mesh. It's 10 inches by 10 yards in length. This is going to be my main deco mesh. And then my secondary deco mesh, I usually like to take rolls that I have left over because this is going to be to make curls. So whatever theme you're doing, this is a great way to use up rolls that you're just not sure what you can get out of them. You're going to need some pipe cleaners. For ribbon, I'm going to be using two wired ribbons. One is a silver one. And this one I had in my stash. I'm not sure how much I can get out of this one either. But as I said, a swag wreath is perfect to use up those little leftover pieces. Also, two of these beautiful silver branches. For the sign, I'm going to be using one of my favorite things, and it's a yard stake or pick, whatever you call it. And the reason is you can take this off and there are no holes in the sign itself. So this makes for a perfect centerpiece for your wreath or your swag wreath. The base of this wreath is going to be our stir stick. It's 21 inches in length and we are going to make this one nice and full. I'm also going to be using some jute cord and this is to make a hanging loop for our stir stick. Before I get started on the swag itself, I like to add the hanging loop first. I'm going to decide where my front is, usually where the ruler is. I like that to be in the front. So I'm going to flip and then I'm going to go to the narrowest part of my swag and take my piece of jute cord about one third in and make a little knot. After I have my initial knot, I'm going to make a little loop about one and a half to two inches is just fine. And then I'm going to grab the shorter end and tie another knot. If you want to wrap it around with the longer end one more time, you can also do that. But now you just want to make sure that that hanging loop is secure. So make another knot with the opposite side of the tail, cut off the excess. The loop is nice and secure and this is a great option if you don't have access to some power tools so you can just drill a hole on top of the swag. As an extra step, you can take a piece of felt, ribbon, piece of fabric, whatever you have on hand, and put some hot glue over the jute cord in the front, and then put that little piece over it, and that's going to give you a little bit more security. Let's get our sign ready. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the little stake. It was that easy. The next thing I'm going to do is remove the tag. The reason I removed the tag is I'm going to grab a zip mount and put one right there. The other one towards the bottom. Let's remove the adhesive, add a little bit of the super glue. To make sure the mounts don't slip off the little foam part, we are going to put some hot glue all around the actual mount. And now we're just going to let it dry. Next, we're going to grab our eight pipe cleaners and we're going to attach them to our stir stick swag. We're going to have a double on each side and double in the center. This is going to keep this wreath super, super full. And then we have two singles that we're going to place in the middle to cover the centers. Let's start with the center one. And I'm going to start at 10 and a half inches on my ruler because that's our center. Going to twist on the side and fold this to the side. Then I'm going to grab my second one and I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to twist it on the opposite side, just like that. At the sides, I go about two and a half inches because that's where usually my hanging loop is. So I'm going to go right underneath that hanging loop and I'm going to have one pipe cleaner go on one side, the other pipe cleaner on the other side. And then I'm going to put another set at two and a half inches 
from the bottom. The two that we have left, we're going to put them in between and they're going to be facing up this time. So I'm just going to find my center at about six and a half inches from the bottom and just twist that and twist it up. On the top, we're going to go at 14 and a half inches, twist it in the center. As far as the center ones, you can definitely eye these. I just know my measurements by now because I have done so many of these, but honestly, they don't have to be exact on the dot because this is going to be so filled in. The bottom of this swag really doesn't have anything to stop these pipe cleaners from falling off. Not that it would happen, but just to make sure, I like to put extra hot glue right on top over the center and I'm going to grab my little piece of felt you can do ribbon, fabric, whatever you have left over. And I'm going to put it right over and trust me, it is solid and it's not going to go anywhere. Just like that. If you want to put more hot glue right here, you can definitely do that. For example, to hot glue the center ones in place so they don't go up and down, that's just fine. But I think the most important one is the bottom one. To make my cruffles, I'm going to be cutting my decomash into 30 inch strips. You can cut anywhere from 24 to 30 to 35. My cutting mat is 24 inches. I'm adding five and a half inches plus this half inch on the edge, which gives me 30 altogether. So I'm just going to take it to 30, get my rotary cutter or roller cutter and start cutting. Then I'm just going to roll it naturally and put it to the side. I'm going to need eight of these. Now I'm going to use my beautiful white one and I'm going to be cutting it into 10 inch strips. Now it's time to make the cruffles and you're going to need some sort of a clamp or a clothespin, something to hold one side while you're working on the other side. So first things first, our deco mesh is rolling away from the table and I'm going to start by rolling the edge about two, three times. This is going to secure all of that fraying and now I'm going to flip it and push it away from me until I get to the edge. On the other edge, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to roll about two, three times and I want the diameter of my curl to be one to one and a half inches. Since my deco mesh is a solid color, I'm going to use my measuring mat to gather my deco mesh. I'm using the 10 inch little square and I'm going to bring it together in this tiny little two by two square. I got my deco mesh and I'm going to just gather right in that center. When I get to the end, I'm just going to let my clamp out and I have my little cruffle. If you feel like you went crooked somewhere and you have a little groove like this, just pull it out and now we're nice and even. And this does not need to be exactly even. Just make sure that you are attaching it in the center. Let's do another one. We're going to curl up about two, three times, clamp it, and then turn it over, curl, two to three times on the other side. Using my cutting mat, I'm going to be bringing it together in the center. After I gathered it, I'm going to put it on the next pipe cleaner. Three of the cruffles are attached. Everything's getting filled in so beautifully. And now I'm going to continue adding cruffles to the rest of these pipe cleaners. Now it's time to grab the white deco mesh and we're going to make little curls. I managed to get 10 of them from the roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. So one on each of the doubles and these center ones, I'm going to do two of the curls in each one of these. When it comes to making the curls, we're going to do exact same thing that we did on the cruffles. And I'm going to roll about inch to inch and a half in diameter. I have my little curl and I'm going to add it to each of the double pipe cleaners. I have one curl each on the double pipe cleaner. Now I'm going to make two curls and put that in the single pipe cleaner. So I curled it, clipped it, 
Now I'm going to do the second one. I like to crisscross them together and I'm going to attach. Next, I'm grabbing my beautiful ribbon and I'm going to be cutting it into 12 inch strips. I'm going to see how much ribbon I can get out of this roll and I'm going to finish it off. When it comes to the edges, we are going to dovetail them. So just fold them in half and cut a little triangle and do the same thing to the other side. Out of this gorgeous ribbon, I got 16 pieces, which means I'm going to have two per bundle. And as far as the silver one is concerned, I'm going to do eight of these and just add one more. It's going to bring out the silver that's in this ribbon and it's going to look beautiful. So same thing, I'm going to zigzag and then cut the endings to make little dovetails. My ribbon is ready, 16 of the blue, eight of the silver. I'm going to take two of the blues, find my center and crisscross them. Bring in my silver. If you need to find the center, go ahead and fold it in half. Now you know where your center is and we're going to bring this whole piece together. And now all that's left is to add it to your swag. A few twists. Since I'm not going to add anything to the center with my pipe cleaner, I'm just twisting the pipe cleaner up about an inch from the little connection and then folding it and folding it back. Moving on to our next one, fold in half, find my center, do a little crisscross, grab my silver one, there's my center there, and we're going to bring it together. Just crunch it in the middle like that and attach it to the other side. I'm going to straighten up all the ribbon at the end. For now, my goal is to attach all the ribbon bundles to the swag. When it came to attaching the bundle in the center of our swag on that middle double, I attached the ribbon facing out in a little V on both sides because I knew my sign was going to go in the center and this ribbon being here is a great way to cover that center area on both sides. All my ribbon bundles are on. Now I'm grabbing the sign. I'm going to flip it over and put a pipe cleaner through each one of the mounds. Putting the gnome right on. Just make sure that your hanging loop is on the right side when you're attaching your cute little centerpiece. Flip it over. A few twists. I like the way that looks. I'm going to flip back over. Tighten my pipe cleaners. Cut them off if they're too long. Next, I'm going to grab some leftover ribbon and I'm going to cover the back of the swag. What I'm going to do is just fold a little bit, about a half inch, and we're going to fold that back. Put some hot glue on, fold it over and attach. A little bit of hot glue here and there. And I'm going to go a little further than our hanging loop and cut and then I'm going to fold right at the edge of our hanging loop hot glue this part in place and then I'm going to do the same thing a little bit on the edge fold that over a little bit more and I'm going to put that right underneath my loop so it's nice and clean go a little bit further than your edge fold that over a little bit of hot glue and set that in place. Now that the back of the wreath is beautifully covered, I'm going to flip it back over and now we can start arranging all that beautiful ribbon, setting it in place, poofing it out, always like a flower or a leaf. The two center ribbon, I would poof out just a little bit more so you cover that center. Make sure everything is showing that you want shown. This wreath is beautiful as it is, but I feel like it's missing a little bit more oomph and that is where I'm going to bring in these branches. Cut off the branches as close to the edge as I can. Grab the longest one and I'm going to put it right in the center. I like the way it looks already, so I'm going to grab hot glue and hot glue it in place. Now that this one is in place, I'm going to start grabbing the other ones and adding them where I feel like I want just a little bit of silver coming through. Maybe one right here, one on the other side. And for these, I'm putting the hot glue straight on the branch. It's going to get melted in with the deco mesh and it's going to hold in place. 
one on this side just like that and then I'm going to grab the second branch and do the same thing from the other side. Simba just woke up and came to see how the swag turned out and this is how it turned out. I think it's fun and the branches did add a little bit of dimension. Perfect swag for winter. What did you guys think of the wreath? I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below. And if you are not subscribed to this channel and would love to see more wreath tutorials, please consider subscribing. It's free. With that being said, thank you so much for being with us. And Simba and I will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Simba, you want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Mwah.